Welcome to 21st Sports. We're talking the Cleveland Browns at the Washington Redskins in their Week 4 matchup played October 2nd, 2016. And the Redskins jumping out to an early lead in this one. A pair of touchdowns from Kirk Cousins to Jordan Reed in the first quarter. First an 8-yard touchdown pass and then a 9-yard touchdown pass. And it was 14 to nothing as the Redskins jumping out to the early lead. Then in the second quarter, though, the Browns struck back as Isaiah Crowell with a two-yard touchdown run. And then Cody Kessler hitting Terrell Pryor for a nine-yard touchdown. And this game was tied up at 14 apiece. The Redskins would take back the lead courtesy of 49-yard field goal by Dustin Hopkins that made it 17-14. to But then on the final play of the first half, Cody Parkey with a 51-yard field goal. And this game was tied at 17 apiece heading into the intermission. Then in the third quarter, Cody Parkey hits a 45-yarder, and the Browns were in the lead for the first time in this game, up 20-17. to That would be the only score in the third, but then in the fourth quarter, the Redskins closed strong as they forced three turnovers in the fourth quarter and scored 14 points. First, Kirk Cousins hooking up with Chris Thompson for a five-yard touchdown to make it 24-20 as the Redskins took back the lead and then Matt Jones with a one-yard touchdown run to make it 31-20 and Josh Norman had an interception there at the end after a pair of fumbles setting up those touchdowns and that would be all she wrote for the Browns as the Redskins they hold on to win this one they started out with that big lead they let it slip away but they close strong in the fourth and the redskins are now at 500 as they are two and two and the browns remain winless at zero and four so browns they were doing all they could they fought as hard as they could but the redskins closing out strong said they started strong and they closed strong and things were interesting there in the middle there. You know, and in the third, even the Browns did take the lead for a little bit. But the Redskins coming away with the W. Kirk Cousins, not a lot of yards, but he was extremely accurate. And he put up three touchdowns as he was 21 for 27, 183 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Matt Jones getting some big production on the ground for Washington with 22 carries for 117 yards and a touchdown for Jones. He also had two receptions for 21 yards, which gave him 138 total yards on the day. Jordan Reed, the tight end for the Redskins, was the leading receiver in this game with nine receptions for 73 yards, including the pair of first quarter touchdowns. And for the Browns, Cody Kessler, 28 for 40. He had 223 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception. Isaiah Crowell, he had 112 yards off of just 15 carries. He also had a touchdown as well. Johnson with nine carries for 53 yards, but it was Johnson and Johnson each having fumbles there in the fourth that really hurt the Browns. Also that interception in the fourth as well. But uh, Gary Barnridge was the leading receiver for Cleveland with seven receptions for 53 yards for the tight end. And uh, Pryor with five catches for 46 yards and a touchdown. Then we look at the defense for Washington. Murphy with a sack. And then Josh Norman with that very timely interception. And also the pair of forced fumbles, one for Compton and one for Hood. It's those turnovers in the third coming up big for the Redskins as they were clutch on defense there in the fourth quarter and on offense as well. Before Cleveland, uh, Taylor had an interception. Johnson had a forced fumble, and he also had two sacks, and Bodie Calhoun had a sack as well. First downs in this game, 26-24 to in favor of Cleveland. And on third down, the Browns were 8 for 12, 66% conversion rate. The Redskins just 4 for 8, 50%. And on fourth down, though, Cleveland 0 for 1. They went for it on fourth there at the end of the game. But uh, total net yards, 380 to 301 in favor of Cleveland. But the three sacks, actually for the Browns, just uh, one sack for the Redskins. 
And then we look at the penalties in this game. Seven penalties against Cleveland, but 101 penalty yards. So those penalty yards really hurt. And nine penalties against Washington, but just 75 penalty yards. So they have two more penalties, but almost 40 less penalty yards. 36 to be exact. But uh, three fumbles, though. Four. The Browns, they lost two. They recovered one. There was the one fumble by Washington, but they recovered their own fumble. And in the red zone, the Redskins, four for five. So they actually had more red zone touchdowns in this game than they had in the first three games combined. So they only had three red zone touchdowns heading into the day, but here they had four. So four for five, 80% in the red zone for Washington. And Cleveland was two for three, 66% in the red zone. In the time of possession, 31 minutes and three seconds for the Redskins, 28 minutes, 57 seconds for the Browns. So the Redskins coming away with the W, a much needed victory at home to get themselves to 500. And they looked to be in control early. They let the lead slip away. They fell behind by three, but they closed strong in the fourth, coming away with the win and another loss for the Browns. This one kind of heartbreaking, especially with them coming back to take that lead in the third but they weren't able to close out. But let me know what you think in the comments section below, which plays and performances stuck out to you. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you had a good day and had a great weekend and enjoyed all the sports.